A recent Supreme Court ruling upholds a law that keeps guns out of the hands of people subject to domestic violence restraining orders. Today we checked in to hear how our community feels about the court's ruling. I'm Rachel Henderson and back in March I sat down with domestic violence survivors and advocates and we talked about red flag laws and firearms in the context of domestic violence. Today I continued that conversation with an advocate who says the Supreme Court's most recent decision regarding firearms actually offers them a temporary sigh of relief. When I first met Meg and Tina, they both spoke about the power of threats. I was also in a position of, I can't do anything about it because what if? In some cases, the wounds were emotional. We work with a lot of people who have a lot of trauma, even if they, maybe their abusive partner just displayed a gun or pointed the gun at them or kept a gun around. That's Annie Struby with Rose Brooks. I met her in March too to talk about red flag laws. This time around, she calls it a happier occasion. This federal law was the only thing we had really in place. And so we were um, very nervous to see what the decision was going to be and then relieved when they upheld the, the firearms restrictions. We've been watching this decision really closely because it has such a great effect on the survivors that we serve. Um, we know so many of them are affected by gun violence. 60% of them to be exact. That's in terms of KCPD calls they get, which hit record highs this year. What we're hoping is that domestic violence is not happening at a higher rate, but that people are getting connected to services at a higher rate than they were before. Services like Rose Brooks, which she says will remain available despite the laws in place. I don't think we have yet moved in a direction that would help keep people safer, um, but I'm always hopeful and optimistic and we'll absolutely keep working on it in our community and you know when we go to, to Jeff City and let them know what we're hearing and seeing. Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.